you know, you know and we're back. language for the Ramadan podcast. We're in, we're in the Ramadan we podcast, the ultra late the night froth <laughs> Ramadan session. Look at that. Everyone's here. We have two people who are not fasting. One guy who is fasting and is about to go to Jama, and uh, we have 20 minutes Inshallah, on the timer. Brother. This is, we're going to do this. We're trying to do this every day in Ramadan. Just a quick segment. Uh, we're going to discuss a point. They don't know what the point is, but we're going to get into it. Today's point, which I have decided, and also ChatGPT decided as well. Thank you, ChatGPT. Also, just like, uh, I can't take tangents. Sponsored There's no time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time Sponsored for tangents. Uh, uh, is uh, suhoor hacks and why they are all garbage. Now, great, great, let me preface this. Why, why, why do I, why do I think they're all garbage? Listen, mm -hmm. I was opening TikTok yesterday and today actually, and I was going through, and it's like every third, like every third thing who's a Muslim, he's like, "Hey guys, here's four suhoor hacks that you guys need to know about," and it's like no matter what it is, it's like, oh, so you guys need to have some eggs. And then blend some dates into it. I was like, oh, cool, okay. And the next one, hey guys, let me do like a smoothie, but also blend some dates into it. Just and I was dates like, okay. and everything. <laughs> okay. Like, what are you trying to like read? I get like, it in the smoothie. Like, I don't get it in the eggs, though. Well, every third item is like, we need to blend some dates into it. Okay. And I was like, first of all, there's no such thing as a suhoor hack, okay? There's no such like super food you can eat that is somehow going to like magically tide you over for like, 19 hours or however many hours you're going to do it like i, I just don't see nah, there you know isn't. there isn't like i have done ramadan a fair few times i don't know but is your first time around or like you, you, you come around you've been around the block a few times <laughs> <laughs> no, wow. I'm, just a, I'm just a revert recently <laughs> revert. <laughs> oh, welcome, oh, to fold of Islam. <laughs> welcome to the fold baby exactly no i'm just saying like i have done enough ramadans to to know that there is nothing you could do possibly that'll be like it's gonna tide you over for like 14 hours and it's like gonna revolutionize your life i have eaten steak to date to milk and it's all the same really like i don't think it's all the same i don't think it's all the same yeah i disagree with that what so you, what's if your you, life if you eat really uh, salty food you will get really thirsty so okay, you'll be dehydrated exactly. like, don't have fish bro at 3 a.m <laughs> exactly oh my God, and you that. guys brought up the exact best point Ramadan is not actually difficult because of the food. Yeah, it's a thirst. No, it's, not, it's, not it's, it's, yeah. it's a thirst. It's the thirst, yeah. right? This is what yeah. this is what I find is like the hardest. Like, so all you're doing in suhoor is like prolonging yourself to not get thirsty. That's the main thing. As long as you're not thirsty for the rest of the day, suhoor is actually like just you know drink some water, have something small. But like, you're not hungry. Like, I I never wake up. I'm like, oh my god, I am starving. You know? Do you, do you ever I'm, find that the more you eat, the hungrier you get throughout the day? I, yeah, I get that. The more I eat for suhoor, the hungrier I get later in the day. And like, if you eat tons in suhoor as well, do you feel like, you know, when you go have your nap again and you wake up and you feel like you've swallowed like, like cinder block? Yeah. <laughs> you've, got this, you've got this dump truck in you, bro. You're just, you're not breathing. I don't know, but do you have any, you have, what, what, what do you reckon, brother? What's your, like, what do you even, do you even have suhoor? I like I like I don't have like a regular regimen for suhoor. Like I'll just have whatever like my parents have out. So it'll what usually be like bread with some cheese, lebana, like tomatoes, cucumber, whatever. Like basically what Arabs have like for breakfast have like a, regularly. Yeah. Are you blending dates into that? No, no, mate. No dates, oh. unfortunately. Oh, I, I didn't, know, didn't know about that hack till now. Too, yeah, sure. I guess I guess not everyone wants to go to heaven. I guess. But bro. I do. I do <laughs> get. <ha> <laughs> Everyone wants to go to heaven because they don't eat dates. Not blending so dates into that, <laughs> bro. Everything, everything. Not blending dates into that. No, but like I do, I do get the point of avoiding certain foods because it'll affect how you feel the next day, mainly with thirst. Right? You're yeah, not gonna feel extra hungry, bro. Like you're not gonna wake up. Like you're gonna have food at what four, and then by twelve, you're not gonna be starving anyways. Yeah, I think the hunger is always manageable. You're, you're not. Yeah. Like no matter how long the day is, the hunger is not that bad, bro. No, I reckon the thirst though is like is the biggest. Oh, especially for you guys and like Doha, like it would be horrible. It's, uh, it's not as bad for me. Like I'm, I don't drink as much liquids as Jude does. Like we've been to a restaurant with Jude once where he had like nine drinks from like Cheesecake really Factory, bro. And this was during that Ramadan, was, by the way. No, but this was during was, Ramadan. Uh, that that was unlimited. Uh, what's it called? Unlimited Refills. Methane, bro. I was limited. Yeah, he had wow. nine of them, bro. How, was, like, what were you drinking? I was uh, raspberry lemonade, strawberry lemonade, 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 strawberry lemonade. You, you would have like consumed like 
a kilo of sugar or something. <laughs> oh, like. No, because like you would have had like the kilo of sugar, but like half a kilo is on the, the, the tip of the frosting of the cup. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, you know, they, I don't know why they put so much on there. I um, but I, I do agree with you that I don't think there's a hack to like avoid being hungry the next day or sustain for longer. I yeah, think it's just yeah. honestly mainly about quenching your thirst like at that point in time. So you kind of like don't struggle the next day. Yeah, I, I don't know. And like everyone's like, yeah, here's here's like my here, it's the same thing as like, you know, we have another episode about it's like, oh, here's my here's a way like you can eat so that like, you know, you don't you don't you can even lose fat and build muscle. And I'm like, if you, I don't know, like how do you like I mean, you're not losing fat in Ramadan. What are you eating like quadruple? <laughs> Well, in like in like, well, I, I, don't, I see some people, bro. In this like eight hour window, they consume the like the calories of like four humans. Bro, it's bro, because bro. people people are so sedentary during Ramadan. Mm-hmm. Like like they'll wake up, especially in the Middle East. Like in New Zealand, it's a little different because you guys don't have like the Ramadan hours. Yeah, right? we have to. Like, you actually have to go to work and stuff. Saying you actually work like saying, a normal saying, person. Saying that on a Friday while I'm sitting with you guys all morning. <laughs> hey man, listen, it's your first day. It's a little bit of an excuse. You, you, you gotta you gotta ease in, but <laughs> but it's like most people will go to work for like what five six hours. Come home, take a three-hour nap, and, and then, then wake the up. Get like, started. like oh, the day wow, it's, it's almost six p.m. Yo, let's go to eat. They go to eat, right? They'll eat, they'll chill for a bit, probably have they go to tarawih, come back from tarawih, have like atayif and ishtab asal and whatever. Oh, but it's so good. And then it's coffee, so and then later on, it's like oh, I feel like a snack, mate. Oh, have yeah, a little bit have... of a snack. And there's no movement, bro. There's no movement. The only movement you're doing is when you're praying. That's about it. Oh yeah, the sujood, bro. But if you go for like the twenty rakah, bro, I reckon that's a bit of a workout, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. Oh, bro, today, bro. today in Tarawih, I was standing on the crack of the carpet, and like, bro, my feet oh, were like, yeah, <laughs> it's not comfortable. It's not comfortable. <laughs> yeah, bro, I, I was, it was quite like, I, I'm saying that, like, you know, like, you know, when they talk about, oh yeah, the ummah is getting soft. Yeah, I was standing on that crack, bro. That was that was rough today, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was standing on that crack. Like, like, I was like, I was thinking there. I was like, this. Yeah, I'm sure, back like, in the day when they were going to wars, bro. I, yeah, bro. I yeah. stood on that crack. I'm exhausted. Yeah, I, you know, you know, guys. I actually was standing on that crack. I don't know if you guys know, but like, it was a pretty like sponge. And also, the carpet is like, I don't know. The carpet we have is like a bit sandpapery as well. <laughs> They're really trying this to rough you. This up. is definitely not a tangent for the food topic. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Jude's carpet the quality, issues. The quality, mis- the quality <laughs> like, misses like the Jude's neighborhood. My friend, like it's a really nice mission. Well, it was like the carpet, like if you go on the wrong angle, you actually get like a landing strip on it. You know, it's like the carpet. Burn. Anyway, that's beside the point. That's beside- I have coffee every morning, though. That's what I'm doing. Coffee in the morning is lovely. What do you mean? Like, like first, 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 cool. sir, I'm having coffee. It's actually great. Yeah, it's nice. So you I, have I, coffee, I, and then you go back to sleep. Yeah, yeah, I go back. Well, not today in the morning, I actually didn't get my coffee because this morning was a bit of a disaster altogether. Oh, like, I, hey, I so had like, one as well. No, so I was making my own sahur today because, you know, like this is the life. Anyway. Hold on, wait. You made your own sahur. Yeah, I mean, you this, walked this into the kitchen. Is, yeah, Rama had everything prepared for me, but I had to make my own sahur because like she was like with Adam all night. So anyway, we have these new stainless steel pans. By the way, you got to temper them up. Like you can't just crack an egg into them like you used to. <laughs> So anyway, so here's what happened. Like, I go in there. I, like, turn the TNXT pad on. It's really, really hot. I'm like, oh, my God, it's taking ages. And we're already, like, cutting it close. I chuck some water in there to check it. And it's, like, lender, lender frost effect. Fantastic. It's going. I chuck the butter in there. And I realized I didn't crack the eggs or whisk the eggs. So I'm oh like, oh, shit. Crack two you eggs. Butter. Third egg is fucking, w- missed the fucking play. Oh, stop the <laughs> thing. Sorry, I missed the ball straight onto the floor. Third egg. So now we've got like, two eggs, and now we have like we need a third one. And the butter is going brown. I was like, oh my god! Uh, pour the pour the butter into the, the sink. Take it out. Wipe the thing. Put it on lender frost again. Butter in. Done. We cooked the eggs. Very successful. Wow, Mashallah. Very I, successful. I, clearly, I rammed it. I rammed it the end of the <laughs> that, The go. outcome was successful, not the process. <laughs> and then I go take my thing, sit on my sit down. I'm like, okay, let's eat my eggs. I'm like, you know what? Go down really nice with this eggs. Uh, fitness. You know the the Nestle Nestle, fitness. Is it that cereal? The cereal, yeah, bro. So I was like, yeah, that's like super this. bland. That tastes like cardboard. No, but it has like there's that like you get that's really bland. But every so often, like like yeah, it is. It's it has like a chocolate like piece in it. Oh, it has man. a chocolate piece in every so often. It's like a treat. A dark so chocolate. Like, yeah. Okay. Amazing. So I have that, and I'm like, oh, like three minutes left to advance. So now I'm really going for it. Like you gotta finish. I have three sips of my Strong coffee. Juice. It's all there. I have three sips of my coffee. Coffee is not even done. Adan goes off. 
And then like, you know, like when you have the, the bottle of water in your hand, that then goes off. So you got to go for like the last you mega gulp. You got to skull it. <laughs> you, you've got to get the last 1.2 liters in, in four <laughs> seconds, bro. A lot. It's all down. I think that was my morning. Would you have a similar morning, yeah. Benj? That was that sounds stressful, Drew. No, it was stressful. Why, why was do like, you also? Why do you have your soda like right before the Adam? I didn't, bro. Like you know how long it were took you, me to you fix this crack bro, egg like, situation. What, how long did the egg situation take you? Like t- fifteen minutes of like twenty minutes to make the three eggs. It was a lot of time. Fifteen to twenty minutes because like you know there was one on the floor and. You know. <laughs> wow! Did did you did you wipe it off? Or did you have to go call your wife to come clean it? No, I wiped it up myself with paper towels and the thing. Bro, eggs are greasy. Not gonna you know, lie. You know, I'm not gonna lie. If I was in your position, I would have eaten first, then come back and cleaned it up. Uh, I can't, I'm not bro, risking it. I'm not risking it. Everyone uh, that's He would have forgotten. forgotten. Uh, I reckon no, I you would have completely I, forgot about that egg, bro. Would have honestly ruined my life. Just like I wouldn't have enjoyed the meal knowing that there's a, a cracked egg somewhere in my house in the ant situation <laughs> and all that. You can't be taking risks like that. No, I, my soda was definitely not that hectic. Ahmed, what did you have for was pretty chill. I just had eggs, yogurt. How many eggs? Three eggs. And I didn't nobody make, make the executive monster. decision I, for I, it to I, be two. <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, Mohammed, Mohammed made my eggs for me, which is fantastic. Yeah, I had, I had one date, Jude, but I didn't blend it. You didn't blend it, yeah. I you didn't, you didn't blend it with your eggs, bro. No, you didn't, didn't blend, blend it. it. What a bro, if, if someone blend, if so, if you're not blending your dates, are you even Muslim you at that point? Them, bro. Like, yeah, like, them. It's like, you know, hey, like, what are people doing, bro? Like, it's like the the hack is you didn't have even a single hack in your breakfast. <laughs> yeah. But like, I I eat generally the same thing every single week. Like, it's eggs some sort of like high fat like peanut butter or almond butter i didn't today because i was feeling crap and then like Did you have fruits. your sparkling water nah sparkling water is after if thought bro you know you gotta put your feet oh, you don't have, your you sparkling, have, water. You don't have antipodes. sparkling water <laughs> yeah, like yeah, antipodes? Shit. of course antipodes bro you're not gonna get a broke sparkling water you gotta get the good what are, stuff what are antipodes it's a new zealand not, brand it's new zealand water brand it's like new okay. zealand san pellegrino New Zealand San Pellegrino. Yeah, now we know. It is pretty good. Antipodes is pretty good. Is it better than San Pellegrino? No. Hold on. Is Is, is San Pellegrino um, fizzy from the source? It's fizzy from the source, bro. It's it's fizzed from God, bro. Yeah, Antipodes is fizzed from God. What are you saying? God's carbonating from the source. Like, there's a big soda stream in the ground. You reckon? (laughs) (laughs) Is there? is, Is that a thing? I need to Google this. We're on a tangent. God We're on another tangent, boys. This is why podcasts take an hour and 15 minutes with us. We're not anywhere. We're so but yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, so I... I, I think, usually, I think honestly, I, dude, I do think, honestly, for the purpose of this podcast, you should try these quote-unquote hacks, I'm especially the blending either. eggs with dates, I'm not, and see I'm how not, you do the I'm next not blending. Thing. I'm not blending. If I'm going to sit there in the morning at 3.45 and risk waking my child up to blend a like uh, oh yeah sorry uh, like to blend the date sorry my brain is just ticked off to another thing but like <laughs> like here's a quick and easy way here's a quick and easy way that like you can have your pancakes in the morning and like they have them frozen in cubes now that looks kind of cool I'm not gonna lie I was pancakes and cubes they had them frozen in like cubes and then she just like splots it out like it's mochi and that's, it's, that's, like, that's pretty cool thing. actually no, and then it just melts down. Yeah, but then she's like describing the ingredient. She's like, oh, I have like a banana, two bananas, flaxseed, chia seed. Fla-. I'm like, what are you talking about? and sugar. What chia seed, flaxseed, chia seed? I don't know what's all going in here. Why is there so much seed? <laughs> you well, get your macros, Drew. You got to get your macros. Uh, bro, people are reinventing the wheel and all of this. We don't like... I don't know, since when did the ummah get so bougie, bro? Like, when, when did this <laughs> no, happen, no. bro? The best thing is, well, like, on TikTok, I saw this dude. He's talking about, he's like... Oh, like the most important part about like being athletic during Ramadan is like obviously you're eating. Um, you need to get at least one point two to two kilogram to two grams of protein per body per kg of body weight. I was like, bro, that is a lot. What one point one point five to two grams of protein per pound of body weight. So that's, I have to have four hundred grams. What, of like yeah. of like of raw protein or like actual protein? Of protein in general. Whatever I think, I think it's kilo. I think it's per kilo. But the... no, it's per pound. I don't know. I double check it. Isn't that a? They just say one measure? per pound. Yeah. yeah. 
One per pound. But, um, yeah, like 200 grams. That's not that hard to do. It's pretty easy. No. This guy was saying 1.5 to 2. Yeah, that's a lot of pro. I don't know, bro. Like, here's the other crazy thing. I just want people to like really think. Like, Ramadan's a time. Like, when does it make your cut in Ramadan? Everyone's like, I need to be bulking in Ramadan. I'm like, first of all, you're all chunky. So like, maybe <laughs> like maybe a month of like eating less is not the worst thing for you. Okay, everyone. Well, I think that the issue isn't people are gonna eat less. People eat more. Um, like so cheat like, meals and I'm okay, like, okay so what's like everyone everyone's like worried that they're not getting their calories in bro like people, well, people focus too much on eating during an Amaban. yeah that's, yeah, not, like, that's what, not the purpose of it but what's up like what, what are they scared of like are, like people are scared like oh my gains I'm gonna lose all my gains in Ramadan if I don't eat four million calories a day like, like I don't know like <laughs> I have trained in every like I'll be honest I have PD'd every Ramadan and my squat deadlift and bench every every Ramadan because you get that, you get that, like you get that power from, and as all before I've thought as well, you get that like umma power, bro. It's charging you. Up. The test that comes full battery, boom, you're hitting the PBs. I reckon people like sur comes around, try to like not like jam your stomach up full of like blended. Yeah, people pick out, bro. Well, okay, yeah. like, why? Like relax. Like it's always funny when you watch these um, like non-Muslims trying to like trying fasting on YouTube. It's because whenever they have sur, they literally have like a whole feast, thinking. They need to eat yeah, as much no. as possible, and it's just like oh, an amateur mistake, guys. Amateur How do you even mistake. get that hungry, bro? Like, do you, do you get super hungry nah, during Ramadan no, no. in general? Uh, yeah, like, okay, even when iftar before, comes, before, even when iftar okay, comes, yeah. like you eat a little bit, like, but like after a while, you're like, oh, okay, I'm already full. Yeah. Like, like you'll have some salad, not... soup, couple like spoons of like the food. But they're driving like, oh, okay, I'm I'm pretty satisfied right now. Yeah, salad. I can't eat a lot in the morning though. I just can't. <laughs> And like, do you have a restriction on what you can eat in the morning? Like, can you eat a steak in the morning and be fine? He's not gonna eat a steak at three a.m. I mean, I I could. I wouldn't want to though. Like, uh, I don't Wait, think that's. Like, are, are you are you gonna eat a steak during school? I've had to eat the steak. I used to eat steak Jude, all the time. Jude would do it all the time. I used to do it all the time. It was easy. I used to be really hungry in the morning, but like. I, I like feel waking like, up just like just the first thing you do is just yes. eat a fucking steak. Bro, bro. The, the, the problem is bro, steak and eggs. Steak. That would actually be pretty good. I'm not going to lie. The steak and eggs is delicious, by the way. Okay. So I used to actually have steak and eggs. But like, I'll tell you, like, it's actually amazing uh, if you have uh, like only steak and eggs. But the problem is you have steak, eggs, and some people start throwing like rice and summa and then like, <laughs> and, like <laughs> relax. Just chill for a bit. Like, you don't need to be eating this much. I don't know. People need to like tone it down a little bit, just ease into it. Not have you know, we don't need to be hitting like the the, the macro. You, you can maybe you can be in a little bit of deficit. You're not gonna like lose your gain. Like it's probably fit- good to be in deficit, to be honest. Yeah, like I think like the, the the fitness like the fitness Muslims when they're describing it. And no offense, I think you guys are doing great work by the way, whoever's listening. But like, I I think it's okay for people to. I think it's okay for people to be hungry. And I don't think you're going to lose all your gains in this one month period. Or at least, you know, you eating a little bit less is not going to be like the, the co- root cause because there's so many other things. People be like, yeah, I need to get my macros in. There's nothing I can do. But also, they, they will not like, sl- they'll stay up every single night until like, you know, 3 a.m. sleep and wake up to work for four, uh, four hours later. And that's going to be completely fine for your gains. Yeah. You know? like, we're picking and choosing these battles, which is not really necessary. <laughs> Yes, that's very true. true. But then again, you could have four hours of sleep and blend some dates. So you know, <laughs> like that could be. Maybe, maybe I'm missing the hack. I'm, I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna get a blender alarm clock, so it just wakes me up with the blending sound. <laughs> I'm gonna put my some foot dates in already blender. inside. Yeah, yeah. that's. <laughs> this is, this is I wouldn't actually, I actually wouldn't mind a date smoothie. That would be good though. I'm it'd be so. Lie. It'd be too sweet, bro. I reckon it'll be overbearingly sweet. Because how many dates? You're not, are you you're not gonna put. How many dates are you putting, bro? You put like one. Yeah, you put a couple. No, you put I three. Had, no, no, Drew, I had I had this milk in Singapore once. It was like macadamia almond and date milk. It was delicious. Um, that actually sounds great. Macadamia. It, it, it was. It was delicious. You, you know what I always thought would be great? Blended the sticky mango pudding. If you blend that. Ooh, bro, sticky mango pudding is something I, special. It'd be legit. It'd be I'm, me hungry, I'm, bro. I reckon who's, who's saying you don't get hungry at all, but <laughs> who's saying these lies? Oh my god, we did it! Sticky we managed to stay place. more or less on topic for twenty minutes. We have forty-two seconds left. But by the end of Ramadan, we're gonna cure Jude's ADD. <laughs> we're never gonna. It's, it's uncurable, bro. It's uh, it's it's not even a condition. It's a, it's a superpower, if anything. <laughs> but what's your uh, what are you having for iftar now? You have twenty-seven seconds to tell us. 
share with the world. I'm having for a thought. I don't know. I'm not having sport today. Sorry. I'm not having sport today. Why? You have like 38 minutes. You have whatever you want. Earlier. What did you eat? A lobster roll. My guy. My what, guy. A way, <laughs> what a way to end. What a way to end. And end to <laughs> everything we discussed. That, 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 was, that was at like 11. That was at like 11. That was like four hours ago. And the timer went off. 10 out of 10, everybody. Well done. Thank you very much. I have to go play. Yalla. Congratulations. Yeah, Episode 1 done. Nice.